Robert, Pete grew up in Duluth, where he graduated from Denfield High School. Pete is now running for the open seat in Minnesota's 8th Congressional District. I'm unsure, I'm, and I'm very sure, unlike Rick Nolan, that uh, Pete knows to keep his finger off of the trigger until he's ready to shoot. Does he remember that picture? Pete and his wife Jody reside in Hermantown, Minnesota, where they're active members of St. Uh, Lawrence Catholic Church. They have four children, Levi, Luke, Isaac, and uh, Adeline. Let's all welcome Pete Stauber. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. My name is Pete Stauber, and I'm running for Congress to represent Minnesota's 8th Congressional District. It is truly inspiring to see such a great crowd of people out here, all with a common goal to ensure that no one infringes on our Second Amendment of our right to keep and bear arms. I am a retired Duluth police officer. I served for 22 years. Thank you! I have seen the criminals firsthand and let me tell you something, if you take away a firearm from a law-abiding citizen, those criminals will just get stronger and we will be left powerless. Yes, sir. I would like to share two stories about the times that I was a victim of two violent gun crimes. On December 16th of 1995, at 10.32 p.m., at the intersection of 6th Avenue East and 4th Street in Duluth, Minnesota, mm -hmm. I was shot in the head by a career criminal. Wow. Dude. I sat in my truck, I was buckling my seatbelt with my fiance, who's now my wife, sitting in the right front seat of that pickup truck. As I buckled my seatbelt, I heard the biggest pow of my life. I looked up, I saw the bullet hole in the windshield of my pickup truck. I said, Jody, I've just been shot. We were at a convenience store. She and I ran out. I told the worker, I've been shot, I need help. Blood dripping down my face. I could feel the warmness of my American blood running down my face. The attendant says, gets to 911 and says there's some guy that says he's been shot. I grabbed the phone and I said, dispatch, this is off duty 351 and I need help now, I've been just shot in the head. Moments later, those sirens, I could hear those sirens of my co-workers from the Duluth Police Department. They were coming to defend one of their own. 26 seconds later, the first officer arrived on scene. Nice. I was sitting there defenseless because I didn't know whomever was trying to kill me if they were going to finish me off. The criminal was a career criminal after the investigation. Shocker. I am a victim of a violent gun crime where somebody tried to take my life. That was the first incident while off duty. The second incident, while on duty, I was investigating a hostage situation with my co-workers. We went in, we went into a small apartment. We had our guns at our side. I took my firearm that was issued to me and I cleared a back room. Nobody was in that room. Nobody was in the apartment. I cleared that back room. I came out, I put my ha handgun back in his holster. I came around a corner and the suspect came running after me, five feet away with the handgun. That criminal pulled the trigger and by the grace of God, that gun malfunctioned and the fight was on. I was physically fighting for my life, folks. I stand here as a Second Amendment supporter I will defend the Second Amendment when you send me to Congress in the 8th Congressional District. Thank you. You know, if there's some that don't want to carry a gun on their hip or own a firearm to pr protect their family, that's fine. Yep. Yeah. But you don't take it away from us 
defending ourselves, our families, and our grandkids. You will have a champion in Congress when I am elected because I will not let anyone take away our constitutional right in that Second Amendment. <laughs> cool. Amen. I want to thank you all for being here today. Thank God you. Bless each and every one of you, and God bless these United States of America. Amen. Thank you. I like him. Kind of getting a little man crush thing. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Amen. All right, our